I said, I said, I'm going to be on my own. I said to my kids, I'll have a bit of be on my own. Stood down there like, okay. Yeah. Chief Executive of Royal Forest District Council to welcome you to this historic event on the accession of His Majesty King Charles III. In a few moments, I will invite Lord Cobber, the Deputy Lieutenant who is representing His Majesty's Lord Lieutenant of Worcestershire, to say a few words. You will then be followed by Councillor Peter Driver, the Chairman of Royal Forest District Council, who will read the proclamation of accession. Afterwards, the Chairman will invite you to join him in the first verse of the National Anthem and in offering three cheers for His Majesty. Thank you. Good afternoon. We come together this afternoon following the death of our late sovereign. sadness at this time is shared by many people across the globe as we remember with affection and gratitude the extraordinary lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. But the basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today's ceremony marks a formal proclamation to the people of the country of Worcestershire at the beginning of our new king's reign. Yesterday, the accession council met at St. James's Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flags which had flown at half mast since the Queen's death were raised briefly to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The accession council also made an order requiring high sheriffs Cause a proclamation to be read in the areas of their jurisdiction. The High Sheriff of Worcestershire discharged that duty earlier today. Now I invite Councillor Peter Dyke, the Chairman of Wild Forest District Council, to bring the words of the proclamation to the residents of the district of Wild Forest. <coughs> Spiritual 
and temple of this realm and members of the House of Commons together with other members of Her Late Majesty's Privy Council and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London and others do now hereby with one voice and consent of tongue and heart publish and proclaim that Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory become our only lawful and rightful liege lord Charles III by the grace of God of the anointed kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and of his other realms and territories of the Commonwealth, defender of the faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection. Beseeching God, by whom kings and queens do reign, to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Uh, this was given at St. James's Palace this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2022. God save the King. God save the King.